the, the struggle for value addition uh, is, a, is a very big one. If you take coffee, the value of coffee in the whole world, in the whole world, the value of coffee business is four hundred sixty billion dollars. But all the coffee growing countries, out of that four sixty billion, they share twenty five billion. <laughs> That's what they get. The value of the business is 460 million billion. The coffee growers, all of them, Uganda, Vietnam, Kenya, Brazil, all of them, they are share 25 billion. And Africa, only 2.5 billion out of the 25 billion. And 800 million of that is, is coming to Uganda because Uganda is one of the big producers. So you can see the, the, the theft, the theft. So we, we have no alternative but to struggle with, the, with these companies. It is true because if you add coffee, in, if you add value to coffee in Uganda, instead of uh, getting uh, $800 million like now from that coffee, we shall be getting about four billion, uh -huh. but but the jobs also will be here. Because uh -huh. like if you take uh, like cotton, cotton has got I think seven levels of jobs. You grow the cotton, that's a job. You, you, you harvest the coffee, uh, cotton, and gin it. Those are some also jobs. Then once you gin, you, you spin, spinning, to make woozy out of, uh, of, uh, out of uh, cotton. Ah, those are jobs. You weave, you weave, weaving. Those are jobs. Then you, you print colors. Those are jobs. Then you tailor. Those are jobs. And then uh, the byproducts from cotton. For instance, uh, you soldiers, you should know that. Uh, Nitrocellulose, the, the ingredient which, which makes gunpowder, is from cotton. <laughs> to make gunpowder, you need nitrocellulose. You need to get some parts of cotton, not, not, not the zillion and in the what they call linters, the ones which stay on the, on the on the seed of the cotton. There are some small fiber fibers. Yeah. They're called linters. These are the ones we use to make uh, uh, nitrocellulose, uh, uh, gunpowder, for uh, uh, gunpowder. Then oil from uh, cotton seeds, oh, vegetable oil. Then animal feeds from cotton. So now all the, if you import, therefore, uh, you import um, uh, cotton, cotton, you lose all those, you lose money, but also lose jobs. So it's very serious, it's, uh, it's serious. So we shall have to, to struggle, uh, work with the new partners like China, uh, coordinate, force these ones. Uh, in, the, in the end, they will uh, compete with them because if we add value here, uh, quarrel with them, ca ca have counter countermeasures against them, 
say if you don't allow us this we, we shall also not allow you to do that we, it can be done if we, especially if we are united we, we can force them to to go for fair trade because now this trade is not fair this is unfair trade mm. unfair division of labor where they say you concentrate on grow, on doing, growing raw materials we shall do the processing <laughs> this is permanent slavery this is actually modern slavery because like like cotton like like uh, like, uh, like coffee you find that you get one dollar per kilo while the same co coffee if it is processed sometimes it can go up to fifty dollars for the same kilo uh, it's very it's very it's, uh, this is the the source of Africa's backwardness. These fellows here, Ugandans, we are trying to produce rice, and they were saying I should block Tanzanian rice. And I saw that the, the, these inefficient rice growers of Uganda sell here. I said, no, I can't do that, because if the Tanzanians are producing rice more cheaply, we buy from them. So if, if there is free trade, the, 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 the low cost producers will emerge, will emerge. Because I, I, I didn't see, I didn't see how I, how I would go to heaven and God receives, receives me there by blocking Tanzanian rice, which was cheaper and forcing Ugandans to buy expensive rice produced by these inefficient Ugandans as well, producing rice. I think God may send me to, 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 to hell. So you go. But of course, that will also provoke Tanzania to block something from Uganda. So we shall never move. I, I think the, although they have similar but, but you find some of the things are, are easier than here. There. For instance, things involving imported raw materials may be easier for Kenya to do. Why? Because they are near the coast. So they don't have the high transport cost of bringing a, a raw material here, then taking the product back. So you may find that, like that Mombasa area, could be for factories which use imported raw materials. So because they only travel by sea, no additional uh, transport cost. So that geography gives you some advantage. Some advantage. Uh, on the other hand, if something is, is based on the, the raw materials from here, like for instance, iron ore, we have got very good iron ore here. We are going to build a steel factory. It, is, it may be easier here to, to do it here than uh, so, so. With the clarity of view, it can it will be sorted out. Although there are similarities, but there are also differences because of distance, because of uh, geography, because of uh, power cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the business people engage in money making, they will be, they will see this need more clearly. Uh -huh. The business people, they will see it more clearly. And uh, even now, when we are talking about integration, you find that the Kenyans, because they are more business oriented, they get it quickly. They get it quickly. They see the importance because, like. Like uh, people who who united uh, United States, we are we are business people, people like George Washington, who were big farmers. That's why they w worked for the the unit of those colonies of of of, of UK. In 1776, when they got independence. Then you come to Germany. By 1870, 
Germany was not one country. It was 39 kingdoms. Uh, Prussia, Saxony, Bavaria. But there, was, uh, there, there were groups like the ones in Prussia called the Junkers, big farmers, who wanted market. They are the ones who, who backed Bismarck for the unification of, of Germany. So the people who can help, apart from the, the patriots, the ones who, who, who see that if we unite, we are stronger and so on, the other people who can help us are the business people. Yeah. The business people, they, 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 they can see this point more clearly than, uh, than anybody else.